Hey guys, in this video I'm gonna take some time, have some coffee with you guys to answer some of your questions about me and DLM Christian lifestyle. This is gonna be interesting, so let's get to it. All right, let's start with the first question. <laughs> There's actually a few people who asked this one. Daniel, what does DLM mean from DLM Christian Lifestyle? Well, DLM stands for DL Moody. No, I'm just kidding. DLM <laughs> is me. My name is Daniel, D. L is my second name, Louis. And then M is my surname, Maritz. All right, let's move on to the second question. Daniel, what denomination or church do you go to? I don't really like this one that much because the moment you answer it, people usually put you in a box, they label you. And I don't want people to feel and say that, hey, Daniel, you're not from my denomination, so I'm not gonna listen to you. I want people to listen to what I say, to judge me righteously based on what I preach, to compare it with scripture to see if it is true. That's what you should do with all preachers and pastors. No, no, don't ever put somebody on a pedestal just because they're a pastor or preacher or some of these people who call themselves prophets. So again, I want you to judge me righteously. Like the good Bereans, when Paul preached, they searched the scriptures daily to see whether these things were so. But let me quickly answer you on what I I believe. Uh, most of you know that I've been traveling the world for about 13 years, traveled to over 20 different countries, stayed there for about two to three months, and I visited a lot of different churches. And I would go to every church, everyone. If, if they have a pastor or somebody that preaches the Word of God, if it's true, even if you go, let's say, let's take the Baptist church, for example. If you could go to five different Baptist churches, yeah, they have similar beliefs, but the pastors are different. And of course, these things are important. But the most important thing is that we should all go back to Scripture, back to the Bible. So I'm not going to tell you which one I believe is the right denomination or which one you should go to. I'm not going to say that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to preach the gospel. I'm just going to pe preach Jesus Christ to you. Like Paul said, he didn't want to preach anything else except Jesus Christ. And that is what I want to do. Preach the gospel. Preach Jesus Christ. And that is it. Because I have to stand in front of God one day and take responsibility. And I want to stand in front of Him and, say, and, and tell Him, God, I did my best with what You gave me and what You wanted me to do. You know, I don't want to stand here and just preach and talk just by myself. I want less of me and more of God, more of just the Holy Spirit, because I am just a messenger. That's all I am. Daniel, what do you do with the profit you make from your merch? Okay, now this is an easy question. A couple of weeks ago, when we launched our merch, we uploaded a video explaining to you the meaning behind each design. And in the video description, I said that I am not taking any of the profit for myself, but it goes directly to the DLM team that we are building up. You guys cannot imagine the amount of work that goes on behind this channel. And I, I just wanna thank you from the bottom of my heart. I wanna thank you for supporting us. And if you haven't checked out the merch yet, go check it out. It's very easy. There are a lot of designs. And so what you need to do is choose one design and then a specific product you want your design on. Like a shirt, a hoodie, a cap, a beanie, a mug, and so forth. Now you need to know that different products will be available on different shops. So, so far we got a shop open in America and also in Europe. And the website links are in the video description of all my videos. All right, the fourth question. Daniel, what accent is that? Where are you from? Well, I was born in the beautiful country called Namibia. And then when I was three years old, my family moved to South Africa. Now, my first language is not English. 
you probably guessed it already with some of the videos. My English is not top notch. <laughs> but it is Afrikaans, which is similar to Dutch. So let me say something. Um, God is Lifia. And I can work Lifia. God loves you, and I love you too. Now, my accent when I speak English is not really South African. A South African accent anymore. I kind of lost it because of all the traveling and staying two and three months in different apartments, different countries, and so you stay with people from all over the world. Brazilian, American, Russian, Chinese. So somehow over the years my accent changed a little bit and now it is just what it is. Which is sad because I really love the South African accent. All right, let's move on to the next one. Daniel, are you married? And what about children? Well, yes, I've been married for over 10 years with my beautiful wife, Nikita. And uh, she supports me in everything I do. And I support her as well. What you need to know is that Nikita also helped me to build my channels. She helped design the logo, the banners, some of the intros, well, almost everything. Yes. She's awesome. Kids? Well, no, not yet. We've been trying, but we're one of those couples who might not have any kids. We've been praying about it and, you know, we serve a powerful God. And I told him, after a lot of praying, um, I have peace in my heart. I told him, God, you are powerful. You can do anything. If you want us to have kids, you will give us kids to raise as your children. But if not, then I'm okay with that as well. Because I want to continue to move and walk just within your will every single day of my life. Nikita and I, we both accept God's perfect will for our lives. And I want to encourage you to do the same. You might go through a lot of struggles, difficult times in this life. But keep your eyes focused on God. Because at the end, that is all that matters. As a child of God, you might lose many material earthly things. But you will never lose your soul. Now, I hope I answered most of your questions. If there are any more, please ask in a comment section down below and I'll see if I can make a second Q&A video. And um, if you haven't watched all my videos on my channel, stick around. Watch some of these videos that you might not have seen yet and I'll see you there. And remember, God loves you and I love you too. Bye. Take my life in the Consecrated Lord to Thee